Hello guys, Assassin654 here, and here is how to create a Terraria server. Uh, so if you're here just to learn how to create one real quickly, this is how. Go to your folders, hit this PC, go to wherever your Steam library is located. For me, that's my E drive. Hit Steam library, hit Steam apps, common, and then scroll down to Terraria. After you open the Terraria folder, you can hit terrariaserver.exe and what you can do to speed up this process next time is right click and hit create shortcut. So after you hit terrariaserver.exe, you're going to choose your world 1, 2, 3, or 4 and if you don't have any worlds, you can hit N to create a new one. I'm going to choose world 4. Uh, here you choose how many players you want. If you want one player, just you. I don't know why you do that. You just do single player then. But blank for 8, 10 for 10 players, 100, 1000, assuming your computer can handle that. Enter. Leave this at 7777. Enter. Yes. Enter. Whatever password you want. Just hi. And then you're going to type help for a list of commands as it says right here. So. Now I'm going to go more in depth on what everything means and a better, not better, but sometimes easier way to do, get to your files. So you're going to go to Steam, go over here, hit, go to Terraria, right click and hit properties, go to local files, browse local files, and then that's just going to automatically take you to your Terraria folder. And if you right click this and create it a shortcut, you can just hit this right here. Now I'm going to choose World 2 this time, since last time I did World 4. And then, again, it's just me. I don't really care. I'm just going to leave this at 8. And because last time I did 7777, I can't do that again. There's going to be a conflict there. I'm going to do 7778 for my second server. And if you run in 3, then 9, and so on. So 7778. And then, yes, whatever password you want. I'm going to do buy for this one, and then that's going to load your world. So now I'm going to teach you all how to get in and join your world, along with how your friend can join as well. I'm going to launch Terraria real quick. Okay, so now that you are in Terraria, you're going to hit multiplayer, join via IP. You're going to choose whatever character you're using or want to use. And then you can type in 127.0.0.1 or you can type in localhost. They both do the same thing. So the first one, as an example, I'm going to type in localhost 7777 for your first server. And then type in your password. If you have a password, you don't have to have one. And then there you are. You're into your first server or yeah save and exit multiplayer join vip choose whatever character you want what you can also type in is 127.0.0.1 that also works as play as a place's localhost and i almost typed that in wrong 7778 to join your second server type in whatever password you put in. Again, you didn't have to type a password if you don't want one. And then here you are. So, and then to close your server, you're just going to hit type in exit. It's going to back up the it's going to save back up the world and then close down the server. But if you want your friend to join, you're going to open up Chrome, type in IP and then you're going to give them your, what the heck, you go away. You're going to give them your public IP address, and along with what port you're using and your password. And then if you're playing on LAN or uh, over the same Wi-Fi, you're going to type in, you're going to type in command on your start, and then type IP config, choose and then you're going to give them your IPv4 address and then again what port you're using and your password and then they should be able to join. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this helped you out on creating your own Terraria server. And if you'll have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys in a later video. See ya.